알고 아! 예! What is up peeps? This is Diamond's Back 12 here And today we're gonna be doing another part of Doki Doki Literature Club So um, a little update I switched back to X-Split Um, why? Because OBS has this uh annoying bug that whenever I try to stop recording it just keep it gets stuck on stopping recording and therefore uh it screws up the whole video whenever I try to click on it again but uh, stop it recording I mean then like I read like the post online and it said like it's become an issue for years I tried to like fix it well maybe mainly it's because uh if you saved videos to mp4 it causes that bug I, but I tried to like change the formatting and it seems to cause the same problem so I gave up on that since I don't want to encounter that issue again so then I switched back to XSplit this time uh, well apparently I uh, did a little bit of uh, analyzing and realized that the OBS quality I recorded in was the same quality for XSplit so it doesn't change much so yeah, no difference in recording with XSplit and OBS again. Just that makes it kind of hard for me now to like... Uh, arrange or like organize my scenes and uh, game captures, but whatever. I don't know if the quality is that good. Still, uh... I checked both videos, the OBS one and the uh, XSplit, and they seem to have the same quality, so... Whatever, oh yeah. Expect lag on this one because the background animation is just meh. Oh well, let's continue from where we last. Let me just let me switch my microphone. Is the microphone loud enough? Yes, it is. All right, let's see. Welcome. Oh, by the way, I don't have to use the timer on my phone anymore. It literally says on the window tab up there. That's cool. So now I know how long I've recorded. So I don't have. So basically, the new XSplit update just came out, like, 3. Point, version 3.9 is, like, the same as for OBS. Now I can check how long I've recorded, which is sweet. Anyway, welcome back. It's kind of nice having to come back here, Diamond. I missed the times we used to talk in here. I wonder if we're gonna smoosh, but I don't think any game costs but that game exists here, Sandy. Yeah, I tried to record this, and I actually completed the game. But, like I said, because the OBS screwing up the recording, I have to do this again. Monica, I had some questions. I think you might be the best person who can answer them for me. I'll do anything for you, Diamond. Ask away. I'm starting to remember things. Like? I'm watching my friends die constantly around me. Again and again. I remember always coming to Siren's house, but it was too late. I'm sorry about that. I remember holding Yuri's head as he was dying in the classroom. She didn't die until the next day. And there was nothing I could do. Oh god, that's Pusha Moa. I remember naming, never saving Natsuki from her abusive father. Uh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ken. Yeah, Monica burped you guys. I remember not being able to save you, Monica. Having you stuck in this prison. I couldn't do anything about it. But now I can. I'm finally helping everyone. I should feel relieved. But instead, this tension is building up inside me. But what I really need to ask you is... What do you know about the cookies? What cookies? The cookie Yuri had and the one she gave me <laughs> to eat. The por the portrait of Markov. Sadly, I don't know much about them. When I try to find anything about them in this world, they don't exist. I don't even try reading them. Once you read the cookie enough times, you will go. Once you ate, or once you re once you eat the. Uh, I don't know, it's past tense or whatever. Once you eat the, ate the cookie enough times, you will go insane. Believe me, I've seen it happen to Yuri quite a few times. Originally, I thought it was due to me messing around with things, but I was wrong. I myself will risk touching it. Luckily, when the game is set, all that craziness goes away for the others. I always remember. The books are bad, the cookies are bad news. Nothing good will come from them. And why don't I remember something else? What's this something else? Why do I, why do I think we don't belong here? What? You realize that too? I'm already starting to remember that only recently as well. We are locked up in the room, the pain, and the screaming, the endless screaming, that's all I can remember. Be it memorized. 
I thought I was the only crazy enough to think that way. The only one crazy enough to think that way. I feel like us being here is a mistake for all of us. But it's better than we were before, right? You already know where we are now, right, Diamond? Yes, myself helped you remember. We're trapped in the game. We need to find a way out. Break the fourth wall. <laughs> and somehow those books are, or those cookies are linked to something we once were. Have you ever heard of the third eye, Monica? You already talked about it to me when she was reading the cookie with me. She was eating the cookie with me. I only heard Yuri talk about it in one of her poems. Most likely this third eye could be a link to what has been trying to tear everything apart. I did expect stuff with the CPU. Is this... No, it's running, uh... Like how I was running in OBS, but... It's lagging a lot. Damn it, stop lagging! God damn HUD. Whatever. I just spoke about it to me. I think it was about getting people getting a lust for blood and going mad. But I think there is something more to it. If I find anything new, I will tell you right away. But it has to be here. Like I said, something else is watching. And try to undo everything you and Diamond have done. I have faith in you, Diamond. Don't let me down. But I just stares directly to me again. I know who she's looking for is not me. It's you. We have to do this. Our job isn't done yet. Thanks, Monica, and thank you myself for helping me start to remember who I am. You know I love you, Diamond. I would do anything for you. We head out of Monica's room. I walk back to the clue room with Monica, Heen, and Heen. Okay, apparently for some reason the recording like was stuck on this... The game, the dorky brand new day game, uh... For, from XSplit, it got stuck in this part when I tried to like record uh, the other scenes. So let me see if it works now. Uh, we're back. What the? Okay, it works now. Like it said, uh, like the the brand new day recording just froze. Uh, but not the mammy model for some reason. Uh. God damn it. I want to continue reading El Hazard with Diamond. Alright, seems to work now. Goody, goody, good. Uh, I just cut that out. No problem. Well, I want to discuss poetry with Diamond! Or oh, Diamond, it seems like you are the favorite. I'm just gonna step up the back of this one. <laughs> Whoosh! Stepping back, alright. The girls start to pick her and argue who wants to spend time to be first. I sighed loudly. And I'm gonna cause it a check if they're working on high. With all this attention, I feel like I should be the club mascot. Lagging. Alright, calm down. What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't you just do that rock, paper, scissors thing like you did before? It's a good idea! You're so worthless after all, Diamond! Oof. Ouch! Did you forget about the stitches already? Suddenly, I'm feeling dizzy. I am dead. Crap! I'm sorry! Are you okay? Sari comes running back to the club room. The nurse's office closed it! Due to the nurse being sick! Run it, right? Oh, he's awake now, so that's a good sign. Did I black out? I didn't realize how much the fight messed me up. It looks like- Looks like it! I might be bleeding. Can someone help me check? Wow, we're, you're, you're sure excited. I slowly, I slowly take off my blazer as my arm is hurting again. I unbutton my shirt and take it off from the... <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, being shirtless, you guys. Hope I'm not showing off or anything. Okay. I feel the girls penetrating stares at me. I feel kind of weird doing this in a room full of girls. But I've, have no, I've got no choice. Like, I'm in a dead of lines ready to be feasted upon. Yuri checks my arm and shoulder. It looks, it, lo it looks like there's some blood seeping from your bandage. Do you happen to have any spare bandages? Yeah, I have something from the hospital in my bag. I'll get it! Terry grabs my bag and brings it over. Yuri carefully unwraps the bandage from my arm and shoulder. <gasps> they look in horror. Yuri looks enemies. Wow, it's so deep. Like your mother, right? <laughs> Okay, you gotta calm down, please. Yuri carefully cleans, cleans my wounds with antiseptic. 
There doesn't look to be any broken stitches anywhere. You're so lucky. Really? Yuri strangely rubs my arms and back with her fingers. The other girls look at Yuri. Hey, let's meet you. I'm the one, I'm the one who that caused this to me. I am his responsibility. Natsuki carefully wraps the bandages on my left arm and shoulder and tapes them firmly into place. And that's better. Thanks, everyone. Not to think of it, I've got a better idea. Uh, who's up for ice cream? My treat. Really? Yes, really. But first, I'd like to change it something into something more casual. So let's do this. How about we all meet at my place in a little bit, and we'll all go out together. There's a nice ice cream, ice cream shop not far from me. Did you taste your treat? How can we refuse? Hurry up to this diamond. I haven't had- I haven't had some ice cream in a while. This will be great. I wonder they have a- They will have coffee flavored ice cream there. My wallet's gonna cry, but oh well. <laughs> I button up my shirt and carefully put on my blazer. Alright, let's go then. We can continue our club meeting there. We all had our meet at my place. We all will head out and we'll be at my place. That's the kid, Sairi, walk home with me. I'm heading to my house. I'm heading to my house to change quick. I'll meet you back at your place. Got it. Come on to me, Natsuki. Yes, David. Here you go. I gave Natsuki a set of house keys. It'll be a good idea to, for you to have them. Is it still? Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm gonna check this uh, constantly if the game starts to freeze and explode again. Thank you, Diamond. If it is, then I have to like stop recording and make several cutouts from here. Oh, if it if I did, then I'm not as much as apologies. That's okay, and I entered the hills. I changed to more casual clothing. Ready! All right, let's head outside. I think the girls are waiting. It looks like everyone's already here. Sayore, Sayore, and Marcon are writing in the fruity desk. <laughs> it's great everyone is here. Ready to go? Marika is dreaming like she needs a coffee fix. We hold out to the ice cream shop together. We arrive at the ice cream shop. I look at the side of the ice cream shop. It shows Cold Stone Cold Steve's ice cream. What an interesting name. We all head in the side. Ice cream, yay! Girl starts to look around. You, you said anything, right? Yes, I said. <laughs> Natsuki points to a poster on the wall. Her hand is shaking with excitement. It's something that literally the size of my two heads combined. It looks nice, Natsuki. I'll take one of those as well. It's covered in almonds, chocolate syrup, caramel, five different flavors of ice cream, what with with what with, with cream and with cherry on top. Oh, I want to start up with one of those too! Start out, if you insist! What would you like, Monica? She points to various coffee-based dishes and drinks. I'll take them all. Okay. Any drinks? Sure! I look at the menu myself. I think I'll get myself a sundae with some pancakes fudge on the, and the coffee on the side. I'll walk to the waitress who is ready to take my order. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, this must be stuff from, uh, from other anime I don't know about. Uh, well, she kind of reminds me of uh, Kobayashi from Dragon Paint for some reason. Uh, still frozen? Nope, okay. Are you ready? I just want to go back. Just want to go back and sleep. Go back where? I mean, how can I help you? Her way just looks like she's exhausted. I look at the corner of the room. So it's a plaque for employees of the month. They're all of her. So, you must work coffee be the employee of the month, huh? I'm the only employee. The manager is a lazy slob that won't hire anyone else. <laughs> what is he supposed to do that? Uh, I see. Um, I'll take three specials. Whatever coffee pastries you've got. A matcha gelato, two large coffees, and a three milkshakes. Don't forget the popsicles! Okay, two popsicles. Anything else? She really looks tired. That's it. For now. Well, you're looking up at the ceiling, so you're not. <laughs> here's your total. I mean, you're not really facing us, are you? Wowzers! I mean, here you go. I pay for the price for love. 
What? I'll bring everything out to you once it's ready. You can either sit inside or outside. Thanks! It's cold to outside. The weather's nice. We can enjoy it while eating. We all head outside to guess. You're gonna see me do this a lot. Checking, actually make sure the game's not freezing. And you're gonna hear me say this a lot. We find a table and sit. Here you go, sir. Enjoy. Our rage just arrives but does it to drinks. And quickly leaves. Let's see! Oh, I'm so good at this! Um, nom 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 <laughs> Yum. Oh, coffee fey. Huh? Gotta eat coffee. The girls all happily eat. I discuss poems, stories, and news. We! Oh, sorry. We had a wonderful time. You're so good, Diamond. Thanks again, Diamond, for such a wonderful idea. We need to do this again sometime. I hope so as well. Well, I'll be heading out now. Bye! Boy, it doesn't matter the speed of sound. <laughs> Monica zooms on him. Thank you for the dessert, Diamond. You're welcome, Yuri. By the way, Yush, you've got to tell me, where do you buy those awesome knives at? They're cut. They're a cut above the rest. I want to get them from the house. Uh, I will tell you another time. Gotta go fast. <laughs> I knew my puns were bad, but I didn't think it would scare Yuri away. Oh well. Let's head back. I walk back with Natsuki and Sayuri. I first pull heads with them. Then they go holding holding me by the arm. Now I'm so close to both of them. I feel like the center of a smooth Oreo. The day ends on a wonderful note, which with a girl in each arm. We are back in front of my house. Hey Sayuri? Yes, Simon! Would you want to stay over for dinner to Goddamn Expo and Sapir Wishes! And it's still frozen? No? Okay. Sorry's eyes light up. But you would never ask me, David. I would love to. Wow, I, I don't know if I should call it tears of joy or... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, sorry, you have pretty much emotional standards. I guess I'm having two lovely girls to eat for dinner. Ahem. <clears throat> I've eaten for... <laughs> what? We had inside. It smells really nice in the house. We go in the kitchen to see what Natsuki is up to. Surprise! Natsuki lifts over the crock pot lid. Wow, that sure does smell good! So this was the surprise we're talking about, huh? I'm impressed, Dest. I'm surprised you had enough time for to get this ready in the morning. Oh, I had to chop everything quick before you came down. Then you said, just set it and cook it! And it looks like a pot roast. It smells delightful. I set the table. Sari gets a drink from the fridge and places them on the table. Coming through! Natsuki carries a crock pot over to the table and starts pouring service for each of us. Let's take in! We all sit and eat. Delicious. So yummy! Like I said before, Natsuki, you make someone a great. Say it one more time, Tubby, and you'll be talking three pages higher! Okay, sorry. Much better! Sari ignores us and continues eating. LOL. I feel something in my pocket. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. I forgot I still had to sit there. I pull out Yuri's poem and try to read it again. Okay, good thing I don't have my volume up as much. Okay, you're done? I, I'm done. The paper gives up all these sweet smells to it. Maybe it's jasmine oil? Wait, there's something written on the other side of this paper. I flip over the paper. Okay, you're done. Escape it, please. My face turns white. Is everything alright, David? You look like you see a ghost! Sorry, he stops and stares at me. Are you okay, David? Fine, fine. Thank you for your concern. You had to pull back into my pocket. That's it! <laughs> I continue eating with Natsuki and Sayori. You finish eating, the girls are watching your movie downstairs. I decided to take one. Take a final look into the cookies. Yuri was looking for something, but it drove her to madness. I found that other poem. Part of me that is key. At least I think it is. I unlock my desk, pull out both of the cookies. I shake and rip apart Yuri's cookies from the bindings. I find nothing. 
I take my copy of the portrait of Makov and do the same. I'm looking for the piece of paper falls off of the inside of the cookie cover. What the heck? Monica, what are you doing? The card is so familiar. Nah, I'm done. I close my eyes when we open them. I refocus on the poem. I can read it now. Okay, you're done? I'm done. Ah, uh, I wrote this? I can't remember though. These cookies need to be destroyed. That way the link to the old world is gone forever. But the point is the third eye. I'll check the other poem. Okay, I'm done. Hmm. So piercing myself is, the, is how I can open my third eye? I'm gonna have to figure out more what that means. By the way, why am I talking out loud? I know you can- <laughs> What? That's unnecessary! I sighed. Unnecessary to say that? I throw the pieces of the book- of the cookies in the trash pit by my desk. Wasting food, are you? I'm burning these tomorrow. My fire be purged? I hear a knock on my door. I quickly hide the poems. Come in? What's taking so long? I just wanna hang out with you! Look at my watch, it's already 10 p.m. Sorry, shouldn't you be heading home? It's already getting pretty late. My parents are home today! Anyways, if Nigel can't stay over, I'm gonna stay over. Let's night and supervise. Crappy this! Hey, you don't need to do that! Nonsense! As vice president, it's my responsibility! But we're, but we're not in the club right now. <gasps> that doesn't matter, my word is final! I'm not going to win. I get it, I get it, you just wanna hang out more. It's, un it's understandable. Let's just relax here, for now. You can watch TV in the bedroom. I'll get the other room ready for you, okay, Sari? Thanks, Diamond. We end up watching streaming shows late in my bedroom. Oh, Sari and Natsuki fell asleep to me and fell asleep next to me in my bed. These girls are just too cute. I've gotta be careful. I might become a Mormon because of them. I turn off the lights in the room and go to sleep as well. It's gonna be another long day tomorrow. God damn it, really? I'm gonna find a way out. For all of us. I have another dream. Something is wrong. Protect them at all costs. You're the only one who can save them. I wake up to screams. Sari and Natsuki are curled up crying next to me. Is, is everything alright, you two? Screaming. Waluigi. <laughs> What were those- What was those dreams? What was that place? Why were they hurting me? Is it frozen still? Goody! What? Okay. I don't want to go back there again. It's too scary. I don't want to remember again. Sorry, Nancy you were crying loudly. Oh, oh no, I'd start to remember as well. I was not expecting this. I would grab them both close to me and hold them tightly. Don't worry, we're not there anymore. And we're never going back. You remember too? I'm making sure nothing like that ever happens again, trust me. Not to get sorry stop crying after a while. We need to talk. I explain to them what I know about the other world, and where we are right now. I admit the parts about Monica messing around the game, for now. I make that need to know. They're already processing too much information. So what you're saying is, we're in some sort of game right now? Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty messed up. Yes, yes it is. This is hard for me to understand, Diamond. I know, it's hard for me to understand as well. We at least have to help, though. Where? Well, you can't see them, but they they have been helping me throughout this time. Well, if you guys are remembering some, are remembering, that means. Oh, crappy Des. Yuri's going to remember as well. She's the most sensitive out of us. This is going to turn out bad. I rush and change my outfit quickly, forgetting that forgetting the Natsuki that's <laughs> hiring in the same room as me. Perfect! Boxer briefs, nice! You, know, you guys are- you girls are not really taking this seriously, are you? I'm sorry, I met you both at school. If you remember just like both of you did, I need to get there fast. I quickly run out of the house and go to school.
Okay, uh, suspenseful music. Not here. <laughs> wow, you just checked this class through already. Jesus. I searched for class to class looking for Yuri to do a veil. Only one place you can be at now. I could run to the lurch club. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> there she is. Phew, I made it. Yuri, I. Diamond, it's so nice to see you. I wasn't expecting you to see here so early. I just want to come back here one last time. Before I edit it all. What do you mean? I remember Diamond. Every painful memory of the other world. Who I even was. How everyone was hurt. The pain, it just won't go away. Yuri starts pulling out a knife. But if I edit down, I won't have to hear it again, see it again. It's just too much for me to handle. I jumped to Yuri and grabbed the knife in her hand. Ow! <laughs> Yuri started to pull the knife from my grip. My head bleeds profusely. Hey, let go! Just let me die! I remember how I failed them. Do you know how bad that makes me feel? Yes, yes I do actually. I failed all of you many times. The pain, the regret, that heartache, I've never forgotten it. But I finally learned from it. I straightened my grip and yanked the knife from Yuri's grip and threw it across the room. Blood falls into in, my, in the air into my clothing and onto the floor. I clutched my head into a fist. No matter what, I'm not letting that happen again. What? What have I done to you? Yuri starts crying. Haven't you realized it's not your fault? I hurled Yuri close to me. No one did what they could. We got out of that bad place. We are here now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. We are never going back. The only way is for it now. You are all my heroes. The world, the, the world beats nothing to me without any of you. I will not let anything bad happen to any one of you. Yuri starts to calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your hands. Damn, I'm starting to hurt. A lot. Well, I'm sorry for bleeding on your outfit. I explained to Yuri someone of, of what has happened. So what you're saying? The world within is a game? Yours. That's messed up. I agree with you. Try to find a way out for us though. So have faith in me, alright? I trust you, Diamond. Uh, alright, let's see if Diamond is here. Hey, it looks like both of you are. Yeah. <laughs> ah, screaming. <laughs> There's so much blood everywhere. How are you even alive? Lucky, I guess. <laughs> Not to get around the handkerchief she has on her on my hand. Get to the door, spread away, bring two bites stitches. I grab Yuri's sick knife and wipe it off on the handkerchief. I slide it into my jacket. I'm starting to build my own collection of knives now. <laughs> no. Nah, that doesn't sound right. I started to get a little lightheaded. That's a kid, Yuri. Help me to the nurse's office. We get to the nurse's office. Lucky for me, the nurse is in today. I tell the nurse I accidentally slammed my hand to the classroom door and sliced it open. Ouch! They actually believe the story. They check my hand. Fortunately, I won't need stitches. They clean my hand and wrapped up with bandages. I won't be able to write well for a while at least. The nurse asked I rest a while in the room since I lost some blood. The girls headed back to the class while I rested. I laid down in a small bed and took a short nap. I wake back up after a while. I checked my watching desk. Oh crap! I've already slept through most of the day! Fortunately, I can still make the literature club. I get out of the nurse's office and try to run to the club, making the mistake to run. What? I slip and bang my head against the wall, due to the light to being still lightheaded. Ouch! I go to walk instead. I walk to the literature club instead of running like an idiot. I'm here! Is everyone here? Everyone's alright. Alright, right, 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 right. I too damn proud right now. We're here! We're here, David, and everyone is alive. Thank you, Gaudi Des. Monica, I need to tell you something. Yes, Diamond? They are all remembering. Oh, Lord. What? I mean, let's go somewhere we can better talk about this. Okay, everyone, let's go to Monica's room. Wait a minute, that's my catch. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I knew it! We all head out to Monica's room. It was walked out to class halls. We walked out of class halls again. This time it's with everyone. Monica stops me. Here we are. Welcome back, again. It's kind of, okay, here, uh, prepare for lag. It's kind of strange having everyone else come here. Dead. Frozen? Goody. Oh, wait, how long have we recorded, though? I recorded- WHAT?! 
Oh, oh, that's why, because I stopped at some point. This room is big and small at the same time. Hey, hey, Monica, where are we? There's a like, Monica. There's a like, Monica, what the hell is this place? Oh, it looks so amazing out the window. Yeah, don't go out there, Yuri, or you'll most like it. <laughs> and I thought, and here I thought schools were safe places. Where to begin? I explained to everyone what I could remember about what I've found. So far, we came up with a plan. If something goes really bad, we'll all be back here. Monica's making sure we all, can all, we all can come back to this room on our own, just in case. I still get this weird feeling in my head, though. Who is? What? Libertina? Libertina. The room has an awkward silence. It seems like the girls don't want to talk about it. Let's forget it. Let's just head back to class to have some fun, okay? No. <laughs> we don't leave Monica's room and head back to the lunch club. Well, we're all back in the police room. Everyone has silence since we left Monica's room. So. For anybody. <laughs> what? What? Some wine? Yuri pulls out a bottle of wine out of her bag and snaps into one of the desks. Wah. Nani? Screaming. What a turn of events. Awesome. Awesome. I didn't know you were such a rebel. <laughs> What, what the hell, Yuri? No. We're at school, not to mention we're too young to drink. Also, Monica mumbles to herself. We'll have a bottle opener or wine glasses. What did you say? Nothing. What? <laughs> um, Sairi? Oh no! I think Sairi's broken. So, um, yeah. And besides, no one wants to try it, Yuri. Anyways, Yuri. I, I do! Oh, shush. <laughs> I'm not a child! Hey, I'm about to try too. Well, I called president and my word is final. I can grab the bottle and hand it to me. Grow your split with the CPU! Here, David, please dispose of this in the hallway before we get in trouble. Make it a quickie desk! Boy! I quickly leave the class with the wine bottle in hand. Wait a minute. I quickly place the bottle in my bag which I still have on me. This might come in handy later. Head back to the club. Well, sorry we stopped screaming. That's a good thing at least. Looks like the girls are all scattered and left their own devices. I should do something with them. I head to Sairi first. Hey Sairi, I remember you wanted to show me a poem before? That's right! I wrote something especially for you. Why do you to read it? Here it is! Hi Sairi, hand me a poem. Yeah, this is pretty much got on my head and stuff except for this. Okay, you're done? I'm oh, sorry, what is this? I shall sorry the pill. Oops, that's an old one! He grabs the pole from me and tears it apart. <laughs> sorry, David! This is the pole wanted to- oh, This is the pole I wanted to give you! Sorry, he has me another pole. Okay, you're done, you're done. Oh, this is very touching, Sairi. Thank you. I give Sairi a big hug, you guess. Ah! I want everyone who's watching! Hey, we're all friends. Let's walk with a hug now and then. Right? Just a cute little... Nah, I'm not really dead. Sairi pushes me away. Oh, you're broken now. Cool. Okay, okay, calm down. I'll behave. Hey, <laughs> good boy. Sairi pats my head. What? Damn, she got... What? He continues discussing about poetry in school. We had a blast. Diary went to talk to Monica about something. I think I'll go by Natsuki next. Hey Natsuki. She sound asleep again. I gently poke her cheek. Huh? What? Wake up, sleepy head. You think you wouldn't get enough sleep at my place now? Sheesh. Sorry, David. The sun was so nice here. Around here, I couldn't help but fall asleep. Well, lucky I found you before Sairi or you were here for the, the last of it. I place back the last volume of Parfait Girls and grab the next one. 
Okay, I'll chill with it. Natsu kiss go just closer to me. I'm happy that Natsuki is safe. She hopefully won't have to deal with her bad dad ever again. Open the book. Natsuki once again inches closer to me. I can feel her warmth ever more ever more ah, ever more so. Who's Natsuki nice comforting? I can feel her peering over from my shoulders, eager to continue reading. Now where now where were we? Are we reaching the final battle against Lord Cake Boss? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Even Lord Cake Boss and his creation, the Baker's Dozen. He finally made his ultimate creation, the Baker's Dozen. Thirteen evil creations man, are taking everyone's favorite town. Oh, I gotta continue reading this. This book continues in the second year of high school in the middle of the semester. Getting more and more engrossed in the story. But what about what Lord Cake Boss is alone with? They are going to betray him. So. I need to get why people don't- <laughs> Really? This is like a repeated day, but with dialogue differently. It's more fun to read, actually. No, right? They really should make an anime about this. They probably should. <laughs> we ran out for a few more minutes. I've finished a couple pair ch chapters at this point. Are you showing on your board or just watching me read still? Well, I'm fine with that. Alright then. I continue reading more with Natsuke. I flipped the pooch. That only that Natsuke starts laughing hard. Laughing. I totally, I totally forgot about this part. It's the final scene of the battle where it's the Baker's dozen. Lord Kate Boss is pissed that his own creation betrayed him. So he decides to take my final trip to Flavor Town and destroy his creations. All the enough saying is one of the pieces. The poor fair girls. Never seen Lord Kate Boss again. We're so dead, but I know otherwise. What do you What do you mean? Some people say he retired from villainy, and instead has a TV show like Tyler Chang. <laughs> I'm getting too far ahead of the story. Wait, is Lord Cake Boss even human? <laughs> Did I never mention that? Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. I enjoy seeing her smile. It's still frozen. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> really? Pose though. Da dive in here! That gives me a pole. Okay, I'm done. That was lovely, Natsuke. Thank ya. I give Natsuki a big hug. Hey, you big dummy! Run in front of everyone! <laughs> Natsuki punches me. Okay, okay, sorry. I let go of Natsuki. <laughs> oh, she's hungry. Uh oh. Excuse me, I'll be. Excuse me, I'll be back! Natsuki runs out of the club room. Party emergency? Oh well. I'll go see if Yuri's free. I look around and see. We find Yuri running and reading at one of the desks. Hey Yuri! Hey Jai, hey, Jai can you help me again? With the bandages? Yuri shyly shakes, shakes her head up and down. Yuri pulls out some bandages and medical supplies from her bag and places it on the desk for me. Can you roll up Steve again? Alright. How loud are we recording? Oh boy. Yuri rolls up her sleeve. I know it's bad. It's alright Yuri. See your wound is starting to heal. The tendon scars possibly go away. Let me take care of you. Carefully clean Yuri's arms with rubbing alcohol and placed an antiseptic on her wounds. I wrapped the bandages tightly around Yuri's arm. She lets out a light moan. <laughs> Is everything alright, Yuri? Here. I'm fine, I'm fine. Please do my other arm next. Continue to clean Yuri's other arm. Clean and check with the antiseptic. I placed the bandages on, wrapping tightly, yet gently at the same time. Yuri rolls up her sleeves. Thank you. By the way, Jiren, I want to give this to you. Yuri hands me a poem.
Okay, I'm done. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you, Yuri. Yuri, I hug Yuri gently. What? Okay. She's not saying anything or fighting back. I gently let go. She must really like hugs. <laughs> By the way, Jarvis, can we continue reading the rest of the manga you gave me? I could stop myself from reading it. All I have left is the last volume. Sure, let's read it together. Yuri. Yuri gets the final volume and place it next to me. Actually, before we really. Do you mind if I make some tea first? No, not at all. I actually feel quite parched. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time in here any better, it's a nice sweet cup of tea. Not to mention having you as well. Yuri washes off to the closet. I follow and watch as he retrieves the small water pitcher from the shelf with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. Again. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Again. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Don't worry, I've got this. That's okay. You stay here. Okay. Let's just see a desk. As I walk down the hall and have filled up the pitcher with water. I walk back to the club room. I'm a backy desk. Thanks for waiting patiently. I don't tell what you like. Surprise me. Really? If you insist. Really? There is a temperature in the kettle to tear a ton of degrees but <laughs> Now it's time to get the teapot. You really love doing this properly, don't you? Of course! I'm not going to do it for any less for others, especially for you, Diamond. Yuri benches, benches the teapot and begins measuring the tea. The tea leaves are a very strong smell in the air. To my surprise, she starts even starts little, humming a little to herself. It's great to see you in a good mood. It's just so. I was like a show. And you noticed. I was doing a little bit of thinking. And I decided I was trying expecting myself a little bit more. Sure. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. I wouldn't do who's around anyways. I'm happy to hear that. You can never be afraid to express your feelings to me, Yuri. I always worry about me, Diamond. Diamond. It's very endearing. It's because I truly care about you. Yuri wasn't kidding. I want Yuri to pour a cup of tea for each of us. Yuri and I then sit at the desk with the teacups at our sides. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the volume. Oh. I do the same with my, with my right arm on the right side of the manga. That way, I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. We're holding it closer together than before, due to the text of this manga being so small. Yuri's beauty distracted me more by the second. Yuri's warmth is very relaxing. What is this? What is it about being next to a girl and feeling how nice and warm they are? Take a sip of the tea. It has a strange taste, but I keep drinking it. Are you ready? I was ready before- What? I was distracted by your posture again. To turn the page. Of course, how silly of me. Ah, she must have seen me. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. Continue. How are you liking it so far? It's been pretty good. The adventures that Makoto and his friends get into are pretty crazy. It's crazy that he looks like, like the missing sister of the kingdom's princess. The princess has to cross dress to her sister undercover and finds out to find out where her sister went missing. Yeah, there was so much coffee in there. I'm so I, I was amazed. Thanks for giving me these to me, Diamond. I heard that I heard something. I can't wait to see your face when you read the ending. Continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me when I'm ready to turn the page. Said I turn the page. Continue reading more chapters. Until turning each page almost feels like a sensual change. My thumb gently letting go off the page, letting it flutter to her side as she touches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri! Huh? How are you feeling right now? Better, thanks to you. You saved me again, Diamond. Wait, two more before two? Wait, what do you remember again? At first, I didn't remember on the day of the festival. But then it finally came back to me, when I had to search of all these memories and whatnot. Yuri, I'm sorry I hit you with the book. With the cookie. It's the only way to stop you at the time. You had a knife in your hand and had to think quick. Honest strength, Diamond. I would have done the same thing. You were able to bring me back from the edge of madness not once, but twice. I am thankful for that. Yuri remained silent for a moment. There was something else I wanted to tell you as well. Really? Something about the books. No way. I never bought them. They just appeared. 
I found him and picked him up. And yes, the story is somehow linked to me. I don't know why, but it is. I just can't talk about it anymore. It hurts too much. Sorry for bringing it up. It's alright. You hurry really help me enough. Thanks, Yuri. This bring the final volume. Wow, what a good ending. Tears. Right, usually they always bring the ending to these stories. This one actually has it ending done right. Hey, Yuri. Dear Steven. What the heck? Her face. Face. What kind of tea is this? I don't know, Diamond. I found it hidden in the canister on one of the shelves in the closet. It looked like a tea, so I brewed it. Well, your face seems to have taken effect. <laughs> it said surprise me. Well, surprise. Well, it is interesting, at the very least. Why do I taste colors? Here I finished discussing more about the manga. It was a fun time. Let me see if this still works. There we go! I was testing if the video still worked. Not like freezing every single time. It's like time, the time when it's slow motion. The tea of Monica is free. I find Monica writing something in the piece of paper on the desk. I can see she's using the pen I gave for the set. Hey, Monikuns! Hi, shut up, you tired! Well, you just you came just in time. I finished too. I made this just for you. Monica hands me a poem to just finish writing. Okay, I'm done. But it's Jeppe! Oh, how sweet. Thank you, Monica. They gave Monica a big squeeze. Hey, hey, I don't mind when the other girls are gonna get really jealous. Oops. I stop it gently, release Monica. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How'd you feel about today? It was not so great. Well, I had a lot of boredom. It was not even good at all. Jaren, how about you? Yeah, I don't want to go here again. <laughs> Other than that, getting my head cut, today was a good day. I love spending time with everyone. Great! In that case, let's do the same day tomorrow. Actually, we can't because the school is close to another... That's the case, do you girls want to come by to my place to do a movie night tonight? Sure! Oh, that answer was too quick. But I have to stop by my house and grab a few things. I'll meet you at your place, Diamond. Me too, driver. See you soon. Both you and Monica dash out of the club. That leads me to not skin your shirey. Why don't you head home? Sure, let's go, you two. I put my backpack and walk home with Sirey and Natsuki. We head back to my house. I'll meet you guys back! I'm going to change! Alright, see you soon. Natsuki, Natsuki and I enter the hills. I discreetly place the wine bottle out of my school bag and into the fridge. My house, my rules. I just realized something important. I believe your TV is working. How can I do a movie night without it? I don't think I can have four four girls in my bedroom watch the TV. That would be weird to my creepy. I wonder if I can fix the TV. Head to the living room. <laughs> There's no power to anything here. Head to the garage. I checked the breaker box. Sure enough, the breaker box was flipped. I flip is back. I head back to the living room. I used the remote to turn on the TV. Okay, uh, there's some enemies here. There's Madoka Magica's Rebellion here. There's Godzilla, there's two of them. There's some heat here. I recognize this enemy, but I can't seem to figure out what it is. Uh. There's Sword Art Online. There's One Punch Man. There's. I don't know what the heck this is. I believe that's Cure. Lost him? I don't know. The Zokai Watch. Eh, that's pretty much it. I can't remember. Oh, it's Castlevania? What? Oh, I just read it as Castlevania. Right here. Uh, the. The. Oh, you can't see my cursor, but. It's actually the second movie on the second row. 
Spadoka's Magical Rebellion on the second movie, the third row, and the One Punch Man. Yeah, who can see it? Well, hope you guys can see it. Yay, success in this! Oh, with that out of the way, let me change it to more, it's easy to move clothes. I look at my closet to see what I can wear. What the hell? All of my clothes look pretty much the same. Why haven't I noticed this before? And how would it you? Majority of my clothes are genetic to look to black and gray color. It's like Batman picked out my clothing. Sure, there's nothing but with black. But they're all the same outfits. Black it is. I sigh and change into one of the great generic outfits. Which reminds me. I take Yuri's knife and lock it inside my desk drawer next to the second one. I'm gonna have to wash these later. I can't for forget to burn those damn cookies in the garbage too. I think I'll do it tomorrow. I hear the doorbell ring. I head downstairs. I see that everyone's already inside. Not just gonna let the other girls in. Glad to see that everyone can make it. What is this? There are several bags of groceries on the table. We talked to since you treated us yesterday. At least we could do what we was treating you for dinner today. Besides, I don't think your hands are in the condition to be doing any cooking. So sit down, shut up, and relax. Hey, Yuri, can you help me cut these vegetables? Sure thing, that's okay. Yuri pulls out another knife from, the, from her bag, washes it, and uses it to start cutting vegetables. Not even gonna ask. Thank you, everyone. I'm really touched. That's she has Sairi work on smaller things so she knows she isn't good at cooking. Washington brings me a sense of admiration. Sorry if I'm reading so fast, I wanted to get this game over with. The girls finish preparing a cookie dinner. I help them set the table and place the dinnerware. I smells delicious at just but I smell it smells delicious. Ta-da! They made several dishes. Minestrone soup, followed by steamed vegetables and pasta. All vegetarian dishes, but I don't mind at all. They all smell delightful. Let's see! The girls place the food on the table. That's she starts pouring the minestrone into bowls and placed them on the table. Monica, your statement. Since we've been repeating our lives constantly in this world, how old do you think we really, really are? I would say about 21, 22 years old, perhaps. Why do you ask, Diamond? <laughs> what? I didn't know it. I didn't know it, that. Just wondering. I walked to the fridge. What, anybody? I pull out a bottle from the fridge and placed it onto the table. <laughs> what? Diamond, Diamond, I thought you threw it out. Aha, uh haha, -huh, uh -huh, he got you good there. You got your good, Monica! The rest of the girls laugh as well. Fine, but wait until after dinner, okay? Sure, that way we can all try it together. I look at the bottle. Shows Moscato di Asti on the label. Place it back into the fridge. For now. I sit down and continue eating. We discuss plans for the weekend. Finish eating and head to the living room. I turn on the TV. A good! Yay. The girls sit back and start deciding on what to watch. I craft snacks and soft drink, drinks and bring them to the living room. So what kind of movie are you gonna watch? Did you decide? Horror! Ugh, horror. Hey, I've got an idea. How about watching a Thai horror comedy? What's that, Diamond? You never heard of the genre? Different cultures have different styles of horror. In Thailand, they have few various styles. Horror comedy is a great combination of scary yet funny movie storytelling. I have yet to find anything about the, but the, the Evil Dead series in America do something funny as that. Uh, <sighs> I take the remote and search for a movie haunting me, also known as Horror Teu Teu Take. It's a movie about diamonds. It's about four years of age yet still outrageous drag queens who run a boarding house for boys in provincial dire time. After helping to cover the, mis the mysterious death of two local female teens, the two spirits began haunting the dormitory. Forcing the girls to try all sorts of crazy schemes to get rid of the ghosts. Horror and massive hilarity ensues. I'm second, but curious. Fine, let's watch it then. I use the remote to start the movie. Ugh. We all sit down and start watching. After watching the movie, I remember we still had the one to try out. I grab the bottle from the fridge. I take a few glasses and place them on the tray. On a tray. I clumsily open up the wine bottle. The cork keeps the ceiling. I bring everything to the living room. I place the what to tray on the table. I start pouring the wine equally into five glasses. There's still a good amount left over. This is really a large bottle of wine. Well, everyone, since this is our first time trying wine, we should. I see Sarah next to me chugging the glass down. 
Oh, so sweet! Yummy! Uh, just a bit? Sorry, should you be careful? I might give you weird effects for the medication. But it's fine, Diamond! Just one glass! Hickey hickey! I take a sip of the wine. It's dangerously sweet! I just, I just make glass down and pick up the wine bottle and beat it. It shows that it's dessert wine. No wonder it's so sweet. I turn my head to see the other girl staring at Zyri. Hey, where did my glass go? That's Tricky Wiki over here! She died the while you were busy drinking beating the bottle! She already drank it all! The girl scribed the glass from Zyri. Sorry, that's enough drinking for you! But you're so good right now! Whee! Gotta go fast! Sorry, runs up somewhere in the house. Uh-oh. Monica, did you see which direction she went to? What? Well, dirt faced Monica, I guess. <laughs> oh, let's go find her. Really? We split up and let's look for Sire. She's not here. I walked down the hall. I found her. I ran to one of the bedrooms. You're the best sitter's friend ever! There, there, just lay down and relax. I've got this diamond, I'll see you back downstairs. Thanks, Yuri. By the way, Yuri. Yes, diamond? Yes, you know, everyone is welcome to stay by tonight. I've got an extra guest room and my parents are at home. So if you need to, there's a place for you to sleep. Don't worry, diamond. I already told my parents that I would stay, stay at a girlfriend's house. Texting that that's okay to stay with you. I wasn't- What? I wasn't lying? Why don't you just tell the parents that you're staying with me? Uh, the diamond person. Admit. Or, okay then. I don't know. I thought they- I, I did- I think they would- they wouldn't mind, actually. I leave the room and head back downstairs. Oh no. I found not to get Monica drinking what's left of the wine bottle. It looks like they finished the previous classes. Did you save- did you save any for me? Nope! It was too tasty, Pat- I see, I see up. Sorry, Diamond. Darn. Well, at least we found Sayuri. They're both upstairs. I tell Monica about staying over tonight. Don't worry. I don't... What? Are you saying you don't have any parents as in like they're dead or they don't exist? Can I just live with you and sleep in your bed like Natsuki does? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The night ends up being complete chaos. Fun, but chaos nonetheless. Girls end up staying late and having a little sleepover party. I am going upstairs to hang to bed. God damn it, X split. What a week. I hope it just get, it gets easier from here. Tomorrow I need to destroy those cookies. I have a sick feeling that if I don't, things are going to get worse. I change into my pajamas to turn off the lights. How much am I willing to get myself hurt for them? I think to myself, is it really worth it? I know I've changed, but for the better, for the better, I hope. I feel though, now at least, that somehow, I feel more like me, instead of being hollow. Hopefully they all realize how much I truly care for them. Good night. <gasps> what, really? Uh, no more JoJo's Bizarre Meeting, please, I'm kinda getting tired of them. This concludes a brand new day demo. Look forward to the full release to be on, to announce. It will be done when it gets done. No more perfection. And again, don't forget to play your support and your feedback. <laughs> and the game decides to close on me. <laughs> oh, anyway, I kind of completed the game. I hope the when I play this over, I hope it doesn't screw up on me again. I'm recording with X Play again because I've just had it, I just had it up to here with OBS. Uh, so yeah, pretty much gonna expect using XSplit from now on again. Uh, OBS just doesn't do the thing for me. Uh, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed this game. Um, if I, <laughs> if I like screw this up, I might have to record another again. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe, like, comment, rate. Um, uh, turn on those notifications to keep up with my latest videos and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye